I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Eight of Pentacles and it's with Temperance. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it can point to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. But keep in mind, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So you have to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. And I say this because no one can or should work all the time, but the Eight of Pentacles, it's showing that there's a very hard work period coming up, or that was the recent past energy. Now, this does not have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. The Eight of Pentacles is with Temperance. Now, with this card, all, although all your relationships are likely to be going quite well, you may need to look at any deep personal issues that you have and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So, Aquarius, the message that I'm getting for this recent past energy between you and your person, Eight of Pentacles clarified by this temperance. Yeah, I'm getting that for a lot of you. You were with someone that brought a lot of, it felt like they brought balance to your life. Um, this, it felt like this person brought you a peace of mind. Any mistakes that you made in the past, it felt like anything you felt guilty about, it felt like when you were with this person, all those things were released. You had peace of mind with this person, and this made you want to work really, really hard on the connection to make sure that it makes it. So, yeah, for a lot of you, peace of mind and balance is really important. And that's what you found with this person. So you, it gave you a lot of motivation. And you were inspired to work really hard on mastering this connection. So, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Eight of Cups. And the Moon card. Now, the Eight of Cups, it can mean that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, Trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, this can mean that you are the one who will make the choice. Just know that very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now, Eight of Cups is with the Moon card. Now, the Moon card, you could feel more psychic, more intuitive than usual so it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions even if you don't know where it's coming from also not that you need to be mistrusting but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears it's possible that all is not what it seems and if you feel you cannot trust someone then you probably cannot you have to go with your good instincts and if you're waiting on an answer from someone it could take longer than you would like for it to when you get the moon card. So you have to try to stay patient. So 
So, Eight of Cups, clarified by the Moon card, is what's coming up for some of you, Aquarius. Yeah, so... What I can, what message I'm getting is that for some of you, you, it looks like you're walking away. But this person, at one point, they brought you a lot of balance and peace of mind, and you were working hard, really hard, just to make the connection work. But coming up, some of you could be thinking about walking away. I'm not going to say walking away. But some of you are going to walk away. And because it's, it's clarified with the moon card, it's showing that you feel there's deception. There's maybe secrets or your person is hiding something. Or you could feel like something is hidden from you. You could feel like your person is wearing a mask. They don't say how they really feel. Yeah, with the with this moon card, things can get um, very emotional in a relationship. Um, things can become heated and uncomfortable. So there could be some some type of fight or conflict coming up, and it's gonna make you feel like walking away. And some of you are are going to walk away. You feel like there's deception. Some of you feel like your person is a big fat liar. Yeah. But let's move on over. That's some pretty harsh energy. Let's see what the challenge is. We got this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this with the Star card. Now the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds. Finance, health, all these things should be going well, so so you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it, and be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we get back what we give out. Now that's the Ten of Pentacles, it's with the Star card. Well, with the Star card, you can find yourself feeling really inspired more hopeful about the future than you have felt in a while. You can feel more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial or both. They could be met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is going to be misplaced. This can also be a spiritual card. And you may find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So your challenge, Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles. And it's clarified by the star. So yeah, your person, they, they can tell or feel that you're thinking about walking away. And they know that you think they're being deceptive. So they could come toward you, letting you know that they want, they want commitment or they want a second chance. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is about commitment, marriage, childbirth, engagement. Could be about a second chance. Could be about a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles is about a lot of money. So... Maybe they'll do something really nice for you or make you a real big offer. But this person, they do want a second chance with you. They want, they'll probably be letting you know that they want commitment. They like that you make them feel like the star. You make this person feel rejuvenated. You give them a lot of hope. Um, you give them a lot of um, belief in themselves. Because with the star card, you get confidence. 
So yeah, they like that you you make them feel fabulous. You make them feel great. But you think this person, you, you might think they just, you, some of you think your person lies too much. And then some of you feel like there's secrets. There's deception. So you're ready to walk away. But your person, they, they know, they don't want you to walk away. They want the end all be all with you. Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Marriage, commitment, childbirth, a happy family life. But anyway, that's a challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Four of Swords, and it's with the Sun card. Now, the Four of Swords can signify there's a need for a break, could be for normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Now, the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can also mean maybe time in the hospital, time in jail. Those are just examples of when you go away and then you come back. Just examples. So you could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. But don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now it's with the star card. The star card is beautiful. You see how it pops out over all the cards in this reading. It's an indicator that um, things are going really well for you. Your finances, they should be in good shape when you get the star card. But that doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life and money. Is not very high on the list for some of you. For some of us it is. It's saying to, to remember to socialize, to meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, when you get the sun card, it's, it's saying it's right around the corner. So, Aquarius, the outcome of Four of Swords clarified by the sun. So, yeah. Like I said, coming up, it looks like you're thinking about walking away. Some of you are walking away. Some of you have already walked away. Just too many lies, deception, or secrets. But your person, they, they want the end-all be-all with you. They like the way you make them feel. It looks like you, for those who walked away, or for those who are thinking about walking away, it looks like you, you want more time to think about it. Because I'm just looking at the Four of Swords, the card above the word outcome. Yeah, this man, he went to, to the top of the mountains, and he took his four dogs and four swords with him. And he just needs a break. He needs time alone. The Four of Swords can be about rest after struggle. So you've been struggling about what to do. Your person there, they're asking for a second chance. Yeah. So you're trying to figure out what to do. You're withdrawing. You, you want time alone to think about what to do. So, overall though, I think you just want to be happy. Yeah, because in the recent past, you just want to, you, you like the fact that your person brought a lot of balance to your life. It felt that way. But I'm mean, getting for a lot of you Aquarius, you're the type that need balance. And you're the type that need to have some type of happiness in your life. So, yeah, the outcome is showing that you just really want to be happy. You don't want to be bogged down with trying to figure out 
is your person telling you the truth or is it a lie? Is your person keeping secrets or are you just imagining things? You don't want your brain to be running crazy like that because it takes away from you feeling balanced. It takes away from you trying to be happy because you know that temperance in the sun is what you actually need on a day-to-day -day basis, or at least for most of your your days. But yeah, this person, it looks like they will be asking for a second chance. And for most of you, you're going to think about it. You might ask if you might want some time alone, or you might just take it. The Four of Swords is showing a, a need for rest after a struggle. But you do come back. The withdrawal. Like I said, it's not permanent. So Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. That's the reading that I have for you. Sorry about the heavy breathing. I have really bad allergies. So thank you for bearing with me. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. Take care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just, just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not, they're not personal readings. So, Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I'm wishing you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.